So we're gonna have for our first dinner of the new year, we're gonna make some lobster tails. Got one each, some corn, and some steak. Yummy. And some potatoes over here. So here are the lobsters. I, I cut them in half and then we season them a little bit. Mm. We're just gonna add butter and then broil it. So these are our cooked lobster tails. I think I did them right. I don't know. I hope they're okay. I might have overcooked it a little. Oops. Well, this is my first time, so it's okay. And here's a half ready plate. We're just waiting for the corn and then we'll be ready. And then here's our lemon butter for the lobster. Finished product. Ready to eat. Mmm. My gosh, it looks so good. It's January 8th and we're gonna do a candlestick tour. Um, I always said I wanted to go to a game at the candlestick but I could never afford it. So since they're gonna demolish the stadium probably sometime late this year, they have, uh, they set up some tours that we could, um, just anyone can go and see the stadium. And I heard it's really good, so we're all really excited. It's gonna be me, my brother, my sister, and Raph. So excited, but the weather kind of sucks right now. I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of drizzling. So hopefully it clears up soon. from every era, from Kizar Stadium to last couple of weeks, okay? And Bill Wall, she's the coach, he's up there. Who can name some other coaches? Nolan. 16th at Petrero is a minor league ballpark, it's where Joe DiMaggio played, it's where Casey Stingle played uh, before they went to the Yankees to play and to manage. When the stadium was originally seated, about 25, goes for $25,000 a game. Wow. No, he's number five. Patrick Willis, six time Pro Bowler for the 49ers. On this play, Willis suffered a shoulder separation. Heinz Ward suffered a concussion when he was separated from the ball. Right after this, he went on dancing with all the officials, everyone does that. Now the opposing baseball players don't talk to each other before a game. Football players do. They may have gone to the same school, they may be dating the same woman <laughs> at the same time, you know, stuff like that. And then they go and they get ready, the 49ers go out a different way, we're going to go out that way. And where we're going to go now is outside what was the Giants 
clubhouse. We started giving these tours a year ago, September. <clears throat> Since then, we have allowed about 14,000 people inside. Wow. This is one of the few stadiums in America where you can go into the home locker room. And there not be stanchions in front of things. Okay. 14,000 is a big number, but it pales in comparison to 17 million. That's how many people have been to a 49er game. Yeah. Wow. So that's a little more than one half of 1%. Now, when we go in, the song that you're going to hear is what was played at kickoff in the 1990s here. There are jerseys around the, the wall. You have the lockers on four walls. You have chairs in, in each locker. There's no chair of this year's team. You do not touch it. You do not step on it. You do not jump over it, even if you can. It's incredibly bad luck for you if you do. <laughs> and I will ask you to leave. And I will call the ranger first, and he will meet you. It is disrespectful to the home team, anyone other than them stepping on the logo. That's in any facility across the country. So everybody, please take a deep cleansing breath. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll just first one in. Just again, it's going to be a KTVE letter. Don't stop on the car. Is that a uh, hard bug? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Say hello to number 85, Vernon Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Kaepernick sits here. <laughs> Last two years, two years ago he sat there because oh, Alex oh. Smith was here. Now this is Colt McCoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so join me now in the most important part of Candlestick Park. From 1971 to 1999. The Giants said, you cannot pass that wall. <coughs> so this wall and that wall re were not here. But they came in 2000. So these are the original lockers. They came around the corner here and there. So stand up, please. Face them. This is where Jerry Rice got rid of it. Ronnie Lott's locker was there. And Ronnie and Jerry would wave to their friends on this side. <laughs> Joe Montana got rid of it. <laughs> never won a World Series here, up there. But five Super Bowls were won here. So this ambiance, this feeling could not be bottled up and brought to Santa Clara. Around the corner is where Jim Harbaugh has his office. Only two people have a key and I'm not one. <laughs> That wall, a sliding chalkboard would come out and Bill Walsh would write, draw plays, and the players would be standing where you are, sitting here or on the steps, looking down a little bit. What's the capacity of the musical instrument? I've seen it, it's like five times bigger. Wow. It's for baseball. Baseball players aren't that tall. Okay, you in the back holding the the hero. You or me? You. Yes, how tall are you? Six feet. Six feet. The tallest 49er is six eight. Wow. Wow. You cannot redo poured concrete. This floor has not been changed since 1960. We're 15 feet above sea level here.
Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Thank you. You're welcome.